All right, now this is the traditional way of opening a folder on your Samsung Galaxy phone. And this one here is called pop-up folder view. I'm sure you are able to see the difference here. On the traditional folder view, you can see the moment you open the folder, it covers the entire screen. No matter whether you open it from the home screen or from the app tray, it still covers the entire screen. Whereas on this pop-up folder view, when you open it, it pops up with a slightly smoother animation and opens up in a small window, making the other content or the other applications accessible on the screen. Now it's up to you to select the folder view you want. By default, you have got this traditional folder view and to get this pop-up folder view, you need GoodLock application. Let's go ahead and open GoodLock. On GoodLock, you need to install HomeUp module. If you're already a GoodLock user, you will know this feature on HomeUp application. But if you're new to Samsung, this is gonna help you out. Just install GoodLock application first and then you can install HomeUp module on GoodLock. If GoodLock is not available in your country, you can go ahead and install NiceLock or FindLock app on which you can install the APKs of these module. Once you install it, go to HomeUp module. Here you can customize a lot of things when it comes to the home screen. Basically, Home Up module enables us to further customize the home screen, recents, menu, sharing page, and folders. I have posted multiple videos on Home Up module already on the channel. So in this video, we are going to focus only on this folder customization. Now let me tap on folder. As you can see, we get three options here. Pop-up folder, the folder is open in pop-up style. Uh, we have got another toggle here, folder title suggestion. Suggest the best folder title using machine learning. Then we have folder grid. Now, if you want to change the folder grid, you can change the folder icon as well as folder screen grid. We've got multiple grid options here. We can fit in more applications inside the folder using this feature. Now let's go to pop up folder. When you enable this toggle, the rest of the options will be disabled. If you have set increased number of folder grids, then you will not be able to see them when you enable pop-up folder. Now let me tap on pop-up folder. You can see this is the customization options we get. The font color can be set as white or black and then the background color of these folders can be selected right here. We also have background transparency option background corners option. You can see we can increase or decrease the transparency using this slider here. The background corners can be customized using this slider. As you can see, we can turn it into rectangular shape with sharp corners or we can set the rounded corners. I would prefer rounded corners here. Now, once you're done, just go back, make sure you have enabled this pop-up folder. Now you have got this beautiful looking pop-up folders without covering the entire screen with a cool looking background and curved edges. This definitely looks cool, at least for me. I'm not sure about you. Let me know which one do you prefer. Do you prefer the old traditional one or do you prefer customizing it using the home of module? Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.